you are learning power bi then this is the series for you start from video 1 to learn all the basic concepts of power bi this particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around dex around power query so that you can enhance your skills in power bi subscribe to the channel Welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in this series for quite a few days we now we are discussing list function and today we are going to discuss one of the powerful list function list.transform so let's understand what this function is let's look at the definition of list.transform so list.transform function can take up a list and then can take up a transform function and we have to learn how to take advantage of this transform function now to the use of transform function has been described here so we can use each and underscore is going to give us the that particular element of the list and then it is a operation which we are giving like we are doing a plus one here so what it is doing is this is a list of numbers and it is adding plus one to it so now time has come that we go ahead and try this out and see what we can do with this operation so let's jump to the power bi and in power bi we want to go to power query so under the home tab transform data transform data will take us to power query so in the power query let's create a list first of all and that we are going to create in a blank query so in the home under the new sources blank query it will create a query and let's call it t1 transform1 we do have to take few example to understand this well and let's right click on this one and go to advanced editor and let's create a list so let's create a list 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 and let's say done and you can see we have the list here now what i can do here is i can do my list or transform on this list itself or i can create a new step now just to let you know how to do both ways so right now the one way is that i go back to the home let it select it and go to the advanced editor and I can write down list or transform here and then it can put that list here or if I want a newer step then I say comma here enter and I can say transform and typically what I do is just to make sure that I am not intervening with any other thing I do this kind of stepping which is underscore okay and now I say list dot transform and in that i need the list and i have the list in the previous step which is source match the case and what operation i want to do let's do the same operation which has been done in the example each underscore plus one okay so it's getting the plus one and now i am i am i have clicked here on t1 i have in the transform step i can do the plus two also let's do minus minus two or minus one now can i take can i get an integer division done or can i take the integer mode or something like that let's let's explore that out so go to the advanced editor and see can we do some function like number dot integer division we say number dot integer division and in this one i give underscore comma two okay so what i'm doing so for each one do number dot integer divisions underscore is the argument the first argument and two is the thing from which i want to divide let's see what happens there and now you see now actually what happening here is i don't have the number here so i need to so one so zero one one two two four so let's look at what was our list so our list was one so this is going to have the remainder as one this should be zero this should be one zero so we are getting integer division zero one one we can't get okay this is divide so we are getting question so question is zero then for 2 it is 1, for 3 it is going to 1, then 4 it is going to be 2, 2, 2. Now second thing which we need is 
a mode or the remainder let's see what the function for that is mode so we get one zero one zero one zero so integer division and integer remainder so we are able to do the divide function also you can do multiplication if you want but what happens if i have a list as a text can i do some operation there prefix suffix using the list dot transform function so why don't we go ahead and try that out so let's create one more list this time blank query and let's call it t2 double click or right click rename t2 advanced editor let's give the list here a1 comma a2 comma a three and whatever we want to do so let's first display this list isn't it and now let's do the operation directly from using this place so the source step is selected so i'm getting what is there in the source step and i say list dot transform that's the operation i want to do i want a list for that i got a list and then each i want to do some operation so what i want to do i want to prefix something so let's give something let's say pre itself we give pre space ampersand underscore let's try it out so pre oh that's good let's try post so we remove this and then we go underscore ampersand and space post that's good cool. sounds good i can do let's try one more operation can i split this string can i have a string and then i split it and get the list and then expand it something like that can i do that and let's this time create a table and try to do it. uh on as a new column i'm going to try that out so what i'm going to do till now what i've done is these operations i'm doing on a i'm creating a list and then i'm doing on that but i want to do this operations on a column so can i do these operations on a column okay so let's try if i can do these operations on a column so let's create a column a1 and let's say a space b let's leave it that like this a space b space c and then let's give a space b space c space d and let's call it t3 let's see a lot what all operations we can do on this as a new column now this is a table this is a column now table column can act as a list can column itself act as a list let's see that out so we create a new column and give column and let's say t1 and so i say list dot transform find list dot transform and let me try to append something on this one so first let me give the column a1 and then i try to do some operation on it and i say each underscore let give pre space ampersand underscore okay and we get an error because this column is not a list now complete column i can treat it as a list okay but when i treat complete column as a list means it's going to and that that's where we need table name and column name we need to know the last step table name and using the last step table name we can always do so change type is the last step table name but i don't want that i want this this particular thing to be let's say split it or doing some operations as a new column then what i do so it's not going to convert it into a list so we need to first make it as a list okay so what the method is to make something in a column as a list so we have to make this as a list like text dot split so when i make text when i use text dot split 
then it is actually going to split into the text and going to create a list so I am now having a list in each column and that's where I'm doing my transform operation let's see what is the error it's giving now so argument okay in the text dot split we need to give what is the splitter so we need to give based on the space we need to split and now we got a list see pre a pre b pre a b c and pre a b c d and if i expand this expand to the new rows you get all this isn't it the rows also got separated out and we got the columns the transform operation has worked okay so this way now you want to split into first name last name that could be another way to do that I, we can expand it to columns actually you know you say extract values and then you say okay by space or something uh, or by colon uh, we say semicolon so you can get the values like this and then you can split it into columns so that's various way we can you know after we have done an operation that's a various way we can do it okay so that's where you now one more example let's take now let's create the table once more and let's do this time i'm going to create only one let's say i give two comma three comma five comma one comma four this is a simple list i have now i want to create a sorted list out of it now first of all it has done something wrong which you might have realized it converted into integer which i don't need so what i need to look at i want the data like this not like this so i'm going to remove this step now this is the data i want just to be presented it as a sorted string okay now how do i sort it so first thing is let's go ahead add a new column quickly and then let's say transform now we are not going to use transform operation first of all what i need here is a list so i need text dot split text dot split not list dot split i need text dot split and in that one i need column one to be splitted by comma now see this is fine and I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of change here to you know let you understand instead of one uh, other than one let me make it 10 also one one more column I'm adding 10 value 10 and the reason I'm adding this because when I'm going to do list dot sort here that's where uh, I need to be a little bit careful so I got a list now very simple we have uh, we have this operation list dot sort so what we can do is list dot sort so we have list dot sort and very simply we can sort it but when you do the list dot sort this 1 and 10 is going to come together the reason the 1 and 10 is going to come together in the list because this is a number list this is not a text list this is a text list this is not a number list and I need a number list to sort 1 2 3 4 in the text list 1 and 10 is going to come together so this is a text list this is not a number list so I need to make it as a number list so then how do I make it as a number list that's where I need list dot transform and I go to list dot transform and I tell for each element um, how do we get a number number from number from text underscore and let's do this now now but thing is that this has to be done before I sort it so I need to cut it out I need to put it here and the next operation is this and this is this so I need to do first list dot transform and then sort now let's look at the list now this list is sorted now I want to concatenate it back isn't it I want to back and let's try to 
converted it back convert back into to the this one okay so we go here and we say okay fine we can do text dot combine and we say this and we set comma and we say comma this this complete list we are giving and we say text dot combine and we face an error because text dot combine works on text oh so what we need to do we need to do another list dot transform so before we combine we need to do a list dot transform so here the list dot transform before it ends so here we don't need this operation what we need is each number to text underscore so that's and the list dot transform comma in the double quotes comma so that list dot text dot combine can work now okay the operation name we have not written completely so number to text so now you got a sorted list which is basically numeric so when we run the text sorting the 10 would come near to 1 but when we do number sort then only 10 is going to come last so we have used list.transform here twice for conversion so these are various examples where you can use list.transform and you would have understood how powerful this function is for solving complex cases so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you